Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Choose to Lose campaign. It is a campaign where we're trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty with ABA, so a better advent, reduced hit points and some class item and further restrictions. So, it is month number three and Operation Blast Moan is upon us. We are trying to extract that VIP. I really want that. Scientist plus 120 intel sounds like the type of mission for me. Most of our soldiers are um, currently in this post uh, though. So we're kind of having a mixed team. Jessica Rabbit and Frodo are going to be here from the A team. And they are going to be joined by a new face. Jeranx, uh, who is a new viewer character, as well as Toxic and Wrong Planet. So, uh, congratulations for those of you who are uh, being drafted. Uh, this here looks like an interesting team. This grenade does not exist. This grenade does not exist. So, Toxic has two different grenades. Wrong Planet has only one, which is the uh, flashbang grenade. And yeah, we just got the. Uh, predator armor upgrade which will help us to at least survive but at the same time this might be a bit of a difficult mission so let's see what we got ourselves into good we're starting as always without our concealment but we got 14 rounds thanks to that extra timer so we should be fine it's a relatively straightforward uh, mm, passage but the bridge itself all oh, that makes for a huge opportunity to have a fight so gotta be careful here a couple of missions with that starting position and typically this area here started to become quite a slugfest where all of a sudden things were turning into the very wrong direction Gotta be careful. Affirmative. Good. We want to save the civilian here. So hunker down. Jessica Rabbit can teamwork together over here. That's fine. But for now, let's Moving just out. position her here. And we should be good to go. Jeranks, on the other hand, I want to leave him in the open, man. As you can see, careful, careful start. And we're fighting against the Hunter. Right on schedule. Well, that's going to be nasty. Immune to explosions, gains help when we're in bigger fights. And hates Reapers. We don't have a Reaper this time, so us can actually be a difficult encounter with him. Commander, one of the chosen is here. We'll have to deal with it before it throws off the rest of our operation. Time is running out, Commander. Moving up. Nothing. All right. In that case. Understood. Moving out. Let's continue to move up with everyone else. Okay, I'll go. Yet again, these civilians are hardcore. Guy with a massive machine gun comes next to you and all they are doing is gently ever so gently walking away Jeranx moves over forces another gentle move away And Jessica really could stay here. Someone could be moving into us. 
Didn't happen so far, but yep, there. Oh, wow. Okay, well, luckily we have an Overwatch trap. Unfortunately, we can't really deal with the armor yet. These mutons seem a little more agile than the ones we fought in the past. It looks like they're still serving as the aliens' front line, though. All right. Mark target, minimal damage. They're shifting their attack. After this mission, I definitely will need to restart the game. I'm looking for you. It very much seems that the memory has soaked itself yet again. Okay, I think it's a decent option to use a grenade here. And we'll potentially at least remove one cover spot. Ah, in this case even both. That is great. I think this one here is the highest priority target. target neutralized. All right, target very much neutralized. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Frodo needs to move out of there. guy still uh, still has armor left over okay So much for that mutant. We know we gotta get over there. Do we take the high ground? I think overall it is worth it. We have death from above a couple of other abilities that require high ground so might as well use that time here to reposition okay so that was the first pack i can already see we are becoming a bit more reliant on uh, utility items because we can't just kill those guys anymore. Too many hit points. Eleven turns. We're still fine. I think we're okay. What is the heck going to be? Not bad. I like the concealment option, but the reinforcements might make the mission impossible, so I will not do that. Instead, let's scan and see if anything here is going to be a problem. couple further civilians here and it seems that there is one pack in the chosen but if the scanning ranges all the way up to here 
we can definitely start moving in a bit closer. In order to not lose momentum, we're going to abandon the high ground. Okay, ten more rounds. We're still okay. Okay, well, if you say so. We do not have holo target yet. The timer is stopped. So, I mean, what we can do is the following. Start preparing. Now where's the Moving back. At? And let's move over here. So we're going over the bridge next. Let's make sure he's not eventually able to hit the VIP. Alright. Couple of overwatches and we're essentially letting him move in first. Okay, so careful now. Moving forward ever so slightly, everybody's in full cover. We have a nice little fire line going. If he moves in, he will take uh, some overwatch shots. So far, he seems to prefer standing back. All right. There's a solid wall. We know that there was a pack back here, so got to be careful. Not overextend now. Well, that's the reason why he was staying back. That little prick. Okay, so what are we going to do? There's not even a chance to fire the sniper rifle. No chance of hitting the priest. Closing on target position now. Hey, 
to try to hack this guy. Thirty percent. Hmm. On the other hand, what we also could do is, if we were to combat protocol, that could actually be a kill. So let's be safe instead of sorry. Good. That is one combat protocol, ending over another teamwork. Got to deal with a mech. Uh, it just has too much armor, and we have not enough ways of actually dealing with it. Okay, cool. Fifty fifty. Could suppress him. I think suppression would mean no special skills. Could also suppress the warlord, uh, the chosen. Moving to position. Can't use the frag grenade. Unfortunately, um, because it does not exist. This here would be nice. No stasis. And maybe I'm proactively doing that. It won't do anything for the chosen, but no uh, stasis, no mind control. And the purifier will not be able to move into range. Let's try to hit this guy 50-50. Not perfect, but okay. And suppression onto the hunter. Damn it. Why didn't the stock hit? We were missing him, but that should have still dealt damage. Well, at least the suppression did what it was supposed to do. Okay, this will break. Uh, this will essentially break the overwatch we're making sure that our front line is safe and secure breaking the overwatch thanks to the stock Chosen can flank us regardless, so there's not much point in delaying the invertible. The others, however, are a problem. So from here we would be able to see him. Funnily enough, from no other position. Potentially th uh, due to those pylons there. On my way. Moving up. Overwatch. Overwatch. We're in full cover, so we should be fine. And I would like to move up because we need to be able to flank him. Let's get it on already. 
only partial damage, but only the stock damage that was not good. Luckily, we got that mad kit right there on Frodo. Thankfully. But you gotta be careful. Really? Minimum damage, oh my gosh. Alright, moving up. I want to make sure that we can see the Chosen. Okay. Jessica takes a better position. Let's suppress him. That'll reduce his chances of hitting. And let's move into a flanking position. Good, very good. Armor still holding. Guess I better be more careful. Come on, focus. All right. He's eventually getting slammed. Interestingly enough, he can still summon despite being suppressed. I was hoping that that would suppress the skills. Clearly didn't do it. I'm the best there is. Luckily, overall, the suppression seems to work re reasonably well. Could hit him from here. Problem is, we're being we would be massively exposed. Heading out. We're being flanked from the other side. Fifty 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 fifty. Let's try to get the flanking. Okay, that was good. That does not force us to basically charge in. Moving into a really decent position continuing to suppress him Most of my targets never get a chance to shoot back. continuously close. chipping him down what exactly were you aiming at comes in handy sometimes Well, so far so good. Problem is he has the high ground bonus now.
And for whatever reason, he continues shooting at Frodo. Alright, so what are we going to do? Frodo is potentially going to die unless we find a miracle. If you say so. The problem that I'm seeing with this guy is he's always one step ahead of us. Like I said, he will be able to flank us regardless. Hit the armor. Not a bad shot. We're still bleeding, shot. right? Come on, Jessica. I was a 50-50 for some really nice damage. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Nope, can't get there unless we're actually slashing him. Which is exactly what we're going to do. Another miss, unfortunately. Who taught you how to shoot? Potentially going to bleed out. Might as well uh, do that up here. Got it covered. That way we can be picked up and carried out. Gotta be careful with our VIP. rounds before she will completely bleed out. Moving down. Well, let's hit this bastard. Wonderful. Did not reload. That was stupid. Okay, 50 50. Reloading. VIP is moving out. And Jessica with the 50 50 still trying to hit him. Okay. He will potentially crit this one.
Wrong planet. Moves up. Picks up Frodo. And we're getting the fuck out of here. Okay. It's tough. It'll be okay. 50-50. That's another hit. Alright, reload. And for the love of God, let's hit this guy. Almost down. We do have cover. Yep, I was about to say. It looks like we have cover. I meant to do that. I've killed everything that ever walked or crawled. Do you think they'll be any different? Okay, so that is a kill right here. Difficult than expected. Frodo certainly will take some time to recover from this massive onslaught. Your little group does present a challenge somehow. Great job, Commander. But there's no trace of that chosen left. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, at least we ruined their plans today. Well. That's five additional ability points. And plenty of time left over at the end. But yeah, quite a competitive mission. Overall, overall quite competitive. Luckily I moved uh, Frodo out. That was that was uh, life-saving instead of continuing to shoot okay I'm expecting 40 days or something for Frodo yeah 35 wrong planet also got uh, his fair share of wounding time but 35 well that is a lot On the flip side, we got ourselves finally another scientist. With five scientists, we're good to go. And we got enough intel to make contacts. And another guerrilla ops, if we want to do that. Guerrilla ops wouldn't be too bad. It's an option for us to level. So, might as well fight back and get that extra guerrilla ops mission. I suppose if that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Our people managed to find another bit of information. Very good. So, we got resistance rising too. That is two resistance contacts. Not necessarily needed, but okay. The reduction of avatar progress is certainly well advised at the moment. Got some mobility here for a ranger. And we don't want any soldier to be captured, so yeah, let's just do that. A recruiting of a new skirmisher would be fantastic. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Good. For now that is fine. Unfortunately, the breakthroughs always take 10 days, so our extra uh, scientist is currently not doing anything. Maximum power consumption reached. 
good. We can soon build that. And it'll be proving grounds. For now, let's expand. And we finally got improved cannons, so that is yet another plus one damage. Let's go with alien biotech next. Wonderful. I was almost looking for that facility. So we got a couple of XCOM ability points. What could she do? Does not trigger Overwatch uh, fire. Uh, certainly something that is good. Salvo isn't. is actually quite nice. So might as well take that on her. Meaning she will be able to throw something and then still take a couple of shots. Having the commander back is a bigger confidence boost than any speech. That blast padding, yeah, we're not even going to consider whether or not that is a good idea. Of course, that's more survivability. Vorts here. Hmm. Fantastic death from above. Yes, please. And the kill zone is also an interesting option. And placeable on top of it. Well, I keep the kill zone in mind. Since we can't get rapid shot, that here would be a perfect option for us. Rapid shot will not be available because it's a better um, ability and superior to Reaper. So chain shot would actually be a nice option for quick feet to deal more damage. And holo targeting, of course, on top of that would be great. So that would make him fantastic. Skirmisher we already know. Squad side is not that great here. Rupture is okay. Lightning reflexes is not bad either. I think all all other things considered, I actually think that holo target plus chain shot is a really good combination. With that, he will be able to mark the target and deal additional damage on top of it. So that's not bad. I think Quick Feet will do well. Wards with a death from above certainly will do well as well. And we can even skill and placeable, which is yet another great skill. So that in itself has made a lot of difference. Keep in mind, uh, for those who are um, don't have it fully aware, uh, we we cannot essentially we cannot um, use two skills on the same tier. The only um, ability is those extra skills that are an option. Engineer would be great. We can definitely need those. Uh, and use those at the moment. Hundred Intel also not bad. The supplies would be not would be not a good reward at this point. I think we're going for the engineer. Although protecting a device is a nasty, nasty thing. We got a location, so we can already see all of the enemies. Yeah, surgical. Uh, that would be nasty. Okay, and right afterwards we'll get uh, yet another mission. So we could use Jessica and Wurtz and Rakana. And then potentially Zukuger. And maybe Zirkim. That could be a team for us. 
not optimal, but it's okay. I wish Frodo would have gotten just a tiny bit more XP. I think he's pretty close to the captain rank. That would have gotten us already squad side uh, squad size upgrade number two. But we're still short. Good. That brings us to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your viewership. Leave a comment and a like down below so that you help with the YouTube algorithm. Take care and bye-bye.